Chuck, got to get this off my chest, like now. Okay. Um, hopefully it's not like any chest hair. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, I'm not good. particularly hairy anyway, so that's no. not a thing. Okay. Uh, all right. So when people say they want to go into space, I want to go. What do they space. typically mean by that? They what? mean I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm going to be. I'm going into space, man. I'm going okay. up there. I'm up going there, up there. Up there, and generally they mean they want to go into orbit. All right. Most no, anyone who has ever been in space, mean. they don't mean that. They want to go to space, man. Well, well, okay. If that's the case, uh, do you know how many people have left low Earth orbit? Well, first of all, you are going to have to define low Earth orbit for me. Okay, sorry. Okay, <laughs> because right, look, I'll say I'll say it another way. All right, the Apollo <laughs> astronauts. Okay. Okay. That left Earth. Right. To go to the moon. All right. Okay. And that's right. that's space. Okay. Wait a minute. So there was Apollo. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So eight missions left Earth to go to the moon. Not all of them landed, right? As famously, Apollo 13 didn't. Um, and Apollo 10 was just a dry run for Apollo 11. But those are the only people who have ever left Earth for a destination. That's cool. Every other astronaut, hundreds of them, uh -huh. are called astronauts, and we still say they went into space. And what that means is they went into low Earth orbit. Oh, that's just awful. Uh, and so low Earth orbit is, in practice, you know, where the space station is, it's about a couple of hundred miles up. So, so, if, so <laughs> the Damn. distance from Earth's surface to the space station is less than the distance from New York City to Washington, D.C. Oh, oh, God, why are you depressing me like I'm, I'm this? I'm just trying, I'm just trying oh to be God. honest about this. This is awful. <clears throat> okay, so when people say to me, you want to go into space and, and, and because somebody's got some orbital Taurus thing, and I'm thinking, to me, space is the large-scale structure of the universe. Thank you. Not boldly going where hundreds have gone before, driving around the block as low earth orbit indicates, okay? So, yeah, you can drive to earth orbit in, you know, three or four hours, oh. all right? If, if the road were pointing straight up. So, so, <laughs> right. so NASA and others, I'm not implicating NASA uniquely in this, when they say we are going into space, that's what they mean, okay? Now, there's a functional definition of space. Damn, so SpaceX should be- No, it gets worse. They should be called Leo X. <laughs> oh, low Earth orbit X. Uh, yeah, well, actually, they've got sites on Mars and more power to them. Okay. All right. So I count that as space, personally. All, All right. right. So there's a functional definition of space. If you want to ask, have you been to space, whether or not have you been in orbit? And that distance is the height above Earth's surface where you've left enough of Earth's atmosphere behind you that the atmosphere is no longer scattering sunlight. And if it's no longer scattering sunlight, it means in broad daylight, your sky is dark. Right, okay, that makes sense. No, that, that makes sense, so there's a distance for which that's it. And right. they rounded the number, so it's a nice clean number, it's 100 kilometers up, or about 62 miles. Damn. Okay? All right. So if, you, if you do the conversion. So yes. if you get to that altitude, whether or not you're in orbit, you go above the blue sky, all right? right. The daytime blue sky. Right. Then that sky gets darker and darker, and there so it is. Black. The it blackness is black. The blackness of space. It is, so you can have Earth behind you, the blackness of space over to one side, and the brilliant sun off to the other side. Welcome to space, baby. <laughs> oh, is that, does that happen? Wait. Yeah. Once you get past the blue, once you get past the scattered sunlight. Welcome to space, girl. What's happening? What's with you? Welcome if, to black. If you, yeah, if you look to the left, you might see a little something called the moon. The moon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, check. We'll sign you up for the narrative. <laughs> All right. That's, and so, I don't have a problem with that, except that definition depends on Earth's atmosphere, doesn't it? It does. Suppose Earth's atmosphere were 
half as thick okay. as it is. All right. Now you're going th 31 and 31. Now miles. you're going 50 kilometers, 31 miles up. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's terrible. Now, suppose it was one fourth as thick. <clears throat> now you're going 25 kilometers and 15 miles up. All right. Now, suppose it was one tenth this thickness. Then it's 10 miles up. And suppose we didn't have an atmosphere at all. <gasps> so then, are you still in space just by standing here on Earth? Because under those situ uh, in, in that circumstance, you would look up and you would no longer have a blue sky. That's why I personally am not calling that space. Wow. Because you're using Earth's atmosphere as a definition of space, and I'm not giving it to you. So the measuring stick cannot be the atmosphere of the body it, upon it which you stand. should not be influenced by your atmosphere. That's correct. Right. I can't give that to you. I'm sorry. I understand why you want to use that rule. Because if you're going to have a tourist jaunt, and you're not quite going yet into orbit, you want to get at least that high so you can see the night sky in broad daylight. I get that. But I'm, I'm just going to say I just went on a very, high, uh, a very high plane ride. That's all I would say. Wow. Now, let me just say this. Uh, because I happen to know <laughs> that you know a lot of astronauts. Yes. Um, a lot. Oh, did I say this to their face? No. <laughs> and I was going to say, I got to feel, I'm hoping. I'm just hoping that you haven't had this conversation with any of them. Because <laughs> they would be like, as soon as you leave, you're like, man, that guy's a real a-hole, man. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> well, when I was growing up, my brother would imitate them. He would go, <laughs> a fist into the chest. Exactly. Damn, because that is harsh. But it, yeah, it, I mean, it makes sense when you think I'm about sorry, it. I'm sorry. I'm just saying if, if you want to say, let's go into space, take me somewhere. That's all. Is, is that so wrong? Is that so? So, so the, I, I don't want the definition of space to be contingent on how thick your atmosphere is. So, it, so is the space station space? Is, is that beyond that threshold? The space station? Is it beyond Oh, yeah, because even at that level, there's still a lot of atmospheric particles. There's just not enough of those particles to make the day sky blue. It's sky blue. So, but that's too low to put anything in a sustained orbit. You go up to the space station, it's 200, 250 miles. That's still getting atmospheric particles hitting it. Right. So every now and then the space station has to be boosted back to its original orbit oh. because the atmospheric particles are decaying the orbit. So, so yeah, this is a, um, it's, it's outside of that definitional layer. Um, but it's I get still that. low Earth orbit. It's still Leo, low Earth yeah. orbit. And Damn. I don't even want middle Earth orbit or, or, or geosynchronous orbit. There's still, you're still kind of attached to Earth. And I don't, I'm sorry. As an astrophysicist, to me, space is the large scale structure of the universe. So give me my warp drives and then I'll be happy. All right. Listen, um, I, I can't find fault with anything you said it it, it kind of makes sense especially the destination part which i think also inspires progress Let i think be where you're going yeah destination inspires progress nobody that's right nobody says pack a bag i'm going to the store <laughs> Nobody does that. <laughs> or no one says, watch me drive around the block a hundred right, times. Exactly, exactly. Nobody does that. You know? Uh, uh, Grandpa, are you going to go anywhere? No, 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 I'm just going around the block. No, let me tell you, Ain't yeah, that we, cool. we're going for a drive around the block. Yeah, no. No, nobody <laughs> does that. Going to a destination makes all the difference in the world. So I'm going to give you that. Yeah. You got it. All right. We got to call it quits there. That was another Star Talk explainer. Chuck, good to have you. Always a pleasure. Keep looking up. <laughs>